what's Gucci, what's poppin' YouTube? It's your boy K Dot, first black super saiyan to ever arrive on this planet. I'm back here with the We Blue Garden Chats. We here for episode four of season one with the anime reviews. Gonna rack out this spoiler review real fast, real fast. This anime follows the story of Kenshi Masaki. Kenshi Masaki. He gets transported to a new world. He gets brought to this new world by unknown assailants. I don't know who sent him to this world exactly. Somebody sent him to this new world. This new world is a strange world. It's a world where it could be the past, the future, or another reality in total. You have to watch this anime in order to understand that. You have to watch it. Kenji Masaki, this character. This show, I'm gonna be real honest with y'all. I'm dropping this because this is some real fan service shit, bruh. This show is fan service like a mofo, but it's fan service in a tasteful way, though. It's fan service in a tasteful way. It ain't too straightforward, but they tease you like a motherfucker, bruh. They tease you, bruh. This shit is tight. Now, this is one of them little. This show, you can get invested into the story, and it has enough to keep you dragged in. For my female subscribers, I'm not too sure if this show will resonate too much to you, but you're gonna like that male character, though. Oh, uh, this dude is this is male Kenji Masaki. This dude is OP, bro. And I'm talking about I'm not talking about OP like power wise, that like he's a powerful like Goku OP. This man is OP in everything he does. I'm gonna give you a hint. This man folded up. This man worked. In the uh, work that the school in this show, he folded up clothes faster than anybody else. This man painted a wall faster than anybody else that had the people who have been working there for years. This man came from a new old world to this new world and outshined the people that have been working there for years in everything they did. Rather, it had to do with mechanics, technology, construction. He bested them. There were some things he definitely couldn't best people in was the uh, politics. But at, as far as fighting, as far as being a mechanic, as far as doing basic appliances, such as cleaning, cooking food. This man was OP when it came to cooking food. I'm telling you, bro. In this show, you get stuff like this. You get this stuff. This stuff is going to be in it. And you also get some of, bro, I'm not playing no games. You get this. Oh, my God. You get you get this. I'm telling you, you get this up in there. Look, I'm be real straight up with y'all. The show, this, if you just want to kick back and you need to watch a show where you just need to watch it and you just trying to kick back, this is that show you kick back, you watch it, you get your popcorn. You don't need the lotion, bruh. You don't need the lotion for this. You don't stop. Don't do. Don't even think about it, bruh. Don't even think about it. You don't need no lotion for this. You just enjoy it. You just take it in and watch it. It's like high school today. You take it in and you watch it. You kick back. It's still graded as an anime. So going to have that clunky, weird, goofy, jokey, jokey stuff. It's going to have it. This is them shows that have that. This is why we do these weird regarding chats. We can talk about it. But this is a spoiler free quick review of it. So see if you can watch it. I myself... I watch it on occasion, not mainly, yes, there's fan service, you see beautiful women there, yes, you see them, yes, okay, blah, blah, blah. I watch this mainly to watch Kenchi, because Kenchi is, Kenchi is such a tight character that he's, he's not dumb, he's not dumb. When I say that he was not too smart in politics, that he wasn't too smart in politics, but he was crafty, he knew his way around the forest, he knew how to make food from basic you know, getting vegetables and stuff. Going out searching for food, knew how to fish, go out there and get his own food, and he would take it, cook it. He knew all this stuff. Even going to this new world, he was able to look at certain plants and know if they were poisonous or not, what to use as herbs. Plants that some of the people didn't know in their world were herbs to protect people and save them. He used, he found out which certain plants were herbs based on his knowledge of plants from his world. Now, this world is. He's on. He has another Earth of his own, and they have an Earth of their own. It's, it's, it's strange. It's strange. I'm not gonna tell you how, 
But just know this world is a positive world in the past, the present, the future, it, or it could be a whole different reality, universe. It's a whole two worlds. They're somehow linked together, but you don't know when they're how how and when they're linked. And there's these things in a show called uh, mechanoids. Mechanoids are these. Think of them like Gundam. You take control of this big machine, this robot. And Kenji has this sacred mechanoid. The sacred mechanoid, he has a white sacred mechanoid. It's one of the legendary mechanoids. But he brought this from another world into this world. And he's one of the few that has these. So on top of that, Kenji's OP when it comes to basic life skills such as cooking, cleaning, racing. This man, this man does it all. He's strong. He's as strong as any other. He's stronger than mo many of the humans in this show. Best believe he is strong. This man's OP. But look, he has a mechanoid. This shit tight. Go check it out. These action scenes are so. The action scenes with Kenshi are done to a point where they are exhilarating. There's tension. And Kenshi's not just some bloodthirsty fighter. That's the best thing about Kenshi. He's not a bloodthirsty fighter. He'll fight you. He'll end it. He doesn't. He doesn't kill with a bloodthirst. He doesn't even. He doesn't really kill. He'll subdue his enemy. That's the tight thing about him. He can subdue you, take you out so quick. Boom, boom, boom. Pop. He subdues his enemy, take him out. Check out the show. The show's tight. It's solid as a fan service anime. This is that shit. It's that fan service anime kind of shit. So check this out, bro. This shit is tight. Fan service. Uh, look at them. Uh, them, them tick old bitties, bro. Uh, uh, look at, uh, uh, shit nice, cuz. This shit tight. But look, we're going to this video there. Your boy K-Dot signing out. First Black Soup saying y'all go check the show out. Look. Look. I was, I was chatting with somebody today, where I was trying to get them into doing a little YouTube stuff. But I was like, girl, you got some tight stories. You tell some good stories. You got you got a life. You need to get up here. You need to tell them stories. You know, I was saying, help out the little youth and stuff. Help out these bad little kids. He's like, I don't know. I was like, all right, I'm going to hit you up. We're going to talk. Let's see what's up. Let me go hit her up and let her know what's up. But look, you guys, your boy k -Dot, first black super saiyan to ever ride on this planet. Y'all need to hashtag that. I'm on my that first black super saiyan status. You need to hashtag that quick. First black super saiyan. Look, I got to go. Got to rock off some more reviews. This is episode four of the week regarding shots of season one. I don't know how many more episodes I'm gonna just go and see how far it goes. <laughs> shit, I'm about to be on that my One Piece shit and do like 800 episodes and it'll be like one season, bro. Shit, this is gonna be how this shit gonna be. But look, we gonna end this video there. It's your boy K Dot signing out. Doses. Eh.